the foundation of the Theosophist magazine, read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. This piece is an extract from Madame Blavatsky by George Basden Butt, published in 1925. The Foundation of the Theosophist Magazine The decision to found the Society's magazine, The Theosophist, was made on the 4th of July 1879, which, as Colonel Alcott, ever a true American, points out, is Independence Day. And the first number of the magazine, consisting of an issue of 400 copies, was published on the last day of September in the same year. The magazine was first rendered necessary by the enormous volume of correspondence and inquiries which the founders of the Theosophical Society were receiving as a result of their propaganda. Many of the letters received could only be dealt with adequately by replying at great length. Colonel Olcott records that, although he frequently answered letters from 6am to 9pm, and night after night until 2 or 3am, he was unable to cope with the contents of the mail. The Theosophist, of course, afforded a platform for meeting inquirers and thus lessening correspondence. Colonel Olcott adds, with transparent pride, that the magazine has never caused its proprietors to incur a shilling of debt and has shown a profit since the fourth month. This, doubtless, is due to its strikingly original character and the amount of first-hand observation, knowledge an exceptional local colour discernible in almost all its articles. Through its pages too, Asiatic philosophy was introduced to a popular European and American public for the first time in the history of civilization by writers who believed in the ideas they expounded and who advocated the Hindu and Buddhist systems of religion with all earnestness not merely exhibiting them as curiosities or holding them to ridicule. Moreover, many of the articles were contributed at first hand by Hindu pandits and occultists, and were therefore authoritative. Later on, the same qualities contributed to the success of Colonel Alcott's writings on Buddhism. His Buddhist Catechism was published with the official approval or imprimatur of the High Priest of Slum Buddhism, Samangala Thero after full discussion and thorough revision with Sumangala and his assistant principal, Ayantadum. Thus, it is scarcely remarkable that the magazine paid its way and contributed to the expenses of the Theosophical Society. Madame Blavatsky, too, is said to have toiled at her desk from morning till night, writing articles and stories for Russian magazines in order to meet expenses in the early days of the Society. From the Caves and Jungles of Hindustan is a famous example of her work in this class.